hello everyone so welcome back to this channel here in this video i am gonna talk about this ibm offer letter and the compensation description and detail so i'm assuming that you guys must be hunting for you know job switch or you you are desperate for you know switching your current job uh, because at this time i think if you are a fraser and you are already working uh, in a company for more than three years four years your package must be not up to the what it should be so that's what i believe and uh, recently i have given one interview for this ibm and uh, my current ctc is somewhere uh, actually uh, <coughs> it depends uh, basically how much percentage you are expecting but so i will discuss about uh, this is the compensation which i was getting after 4.1 years of experience uh and what was the role so basically i just uh, taken the one nokri profile so this this is not actually a random so so actually i also applied for uh, this nokri portal but my role was simply full stack application developer uh because for four four years of experience these guys this ibm they hire full stack application developer not a senior so if you look at the senior it it, it asks for 7 to 12 years of experience so for me it was 4.1 years of experience now if you look at the descriptions so pretty much topic wise uh, these guys asked uh, questions covering all these topics but you can uh, say that was i think that was quite a uh, sort of medium uh, level questions few of them were really hard so so i was able to answer those questions so basically uh, in my case i was uh, on a so i was basically applied as a java angular track uh, so uh, developer so basically full, uh, so they asked the questions from back end side in a java and mostly i worked on a sql databases so these were the topics from uh, and and the back end development framework wise the basically this is spring boot uh, basically i have mentioned in my resume and obviously front end angular css and in case of d3 i had uh, basically experience in high chart so do charting libraries uh, i told them and obviously angular or either angular or react so i was uh, basically i had an experience in angular so obviously so out of this 4.1 uh, years of experience i was kind of having 1.5 years of experience in angular and more on uh, the complete four years in java so that's how it was how it went basically and obviously so all these things so they basically as application developer they ask you almost the complete stacks front end back end databases and obviously uh, if you have some hands on in creating build pipeline deployment pipeline using jenkins so those things were there so so i answered i think actually it was one day uh, on a saturday the interview went for almost one hours so if i show you and the very uh, after two days i got an offer letter so i'm just showing you the compensation statement only but uh, there were eight eight pages offer letter and and those were just like what they are hiring you for which location and lots of rules and regulations which i'm just skipping here right now i am just showing what you are interested in basically the compensation what what was the fixed how much is variable so if you look at it right now so uh, this basically the fixed salary part so you will see here it's somewhere around basic 31k hra 15k somewhere bonuses and all and the performance bonus which basically they consider them as a variable which you are not you are gonna get it uh, annually and again it depends on them so you might get 100 percent you might not get that again depends so i'm not considering this 66k i was just considering only this part which obviously you are gonna in hand uh, you are gonna get in hand basically so this was somewhere on 91k obviously uh, after some so total comparison if you'll see it's a 12.5 lpa 50072 and uh, after uh, doing some calculations so i was expecting that there will be a tax reduction obviously uh, around 7 6 to 7 k so so i was expecting 83 to 84 k in hand which i will be getting after the tax deduction so this was looking something like this one 
and obviously there were some other uh, these benefits are there which obviously uh, you will get annually not uh, monthly so yeah this is how uh, basically uh, your monthly salary will look like and uh, out of this annual ctc 12.5 lp i hope this this offer letter and this compensation statements helped you uh, and one thing which you must consider while negotiating so uh, when i applied for this position the full stack application developer they they uh, basically said to me like we are offering only 11 lpa but i was not okay with that so basically there were some one negotiations with hr and and i was kind of basically i told them like i am expecting somewhere around 13 lp and they you know they obviously uh, will try to add some variables and as much as they can reduce so at the end i was agreed on this particular 12.5 lp so again it depends on your negotiate uh, negotiation skills so but yeah you can you can obviously uh, tell them to increase if you are not happy with that and if they have hired you so there are chances like they can they can give you uh, some 10 percent extra what you are expecting so this is how it, it looks like and i hope uh, this helped you guys if you are hunting a job uh, and you have an experience somewhere around four years 3.5 years or 4.5 years you can expect somewhere 11 lpa to 12 lpa i mean it's 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 fine completely fine and i have given this interview just also to know my worth <laughs> ideally i shouldn't say this but yes that's right so thank you guys if you really enjoyed and uh, like this information so you can subscribe this uh, channel yeah thank you really